We would like to begin today's video with a simple task. Stop whatever you are doing and take a five second walk. Now, stop walking. Tell us which of your legs you began with. Chances are you didn't pay attention to it. You simply went with the strides of your legs and now you're no longer where you were five seconds ago. This is a simple but very powerful illustration of how life was designed. Minimal strain, yet great results. The desire to succeed pertains to every one of us irrespective of our nationality, race, or religious inclinations. Every day people go to their workplace or business or whatever worthy venture they choose because they need to succeed. A lot of people attribute stress to productivity, but nothing could be further than the truth. I like to believe that there is a difference between toiling and working. While toiling involves continuous strenuous activities without the assurance of any breakthrough, working is carrying out an activity with focus and a clear line of direction. In this video you will be shown a very powerful principle about succeeding without breaking down in the process. 1. Obtain victory through surrender. Be careful of nothing was the advice that Paul the Apostle gave to his congregation in the Bible. Today's world is filled with a lot of pressure, from the need to pay bills to the need to find meaning in life. 24 hours is quickly gone and people repeat the routine daily. The concept of being not careful does not in any way encourage laziness or a laid-back approach to living. However, our conscious thoughts were not designed to manifest breakthroughs. To better understand this, you might need to consider a computer and you who is the operator of the machine. All you can do is input the variables or instructions into the computer and trust that there is enough computing power to give you the desired result. You cannot scream at the software or force it through some manual effort to give you what you want. Unfortunately, this is how a lot of people approach life. They engage with their desires for breakthroughs so much that they end up being frustrated or burnt out. Albert Einstein is said to have been someone who understood this principle very well. As intelligent as he was, he understood the power of rest. He also attests that he recorded significant breakthroughs when he decided to rest or sleep. At that moment of relaxation, the answers came to him. The world is grateful to Larry Page and Sergey Brin for simplifying the ways we seek information via Google. Are you, however, aware that the idea of Google came to Larry Page in a dream as he slept? How amazing is that? We may have cheated ourselves many times because we are not calm but agitated over some pressing matters. Thomas Edison was also known to have his breakthrough moments whenever he pulled away from his mental ramblings and simply took a nap. How about authors or movie writers who had no previous written outline or experience in writing and their first attempts created masterpieces of their respective works? There are many examples of such people all about. C.G. Sweets was the research chief of General Electric. He said he got a lot of his research breakthroughs after resting. This was, however, preceded by intense concentration on the subject at hand. So this video is by no means encouraging laxity. You need to be passionate about solving a unique challenge and commit your mental resources to it. You must also determine that you are only going to give up when you have succeeded. However, you must also know that no amount of mental exertion can as much as lift a piece of paper off the floor. This means that you must allow your mind to breathe and permit the invisible but creative part of your mind to get to work and fetch you that elusive solution. How is all of this possible, you might ask? All your life you might have been taught that you must remain physically and mentally alert and alive if you want to stand a chance of succeeding. The simple explanation is in the constitution of the brain. There is a part of the brain called the forebrain and it is responsible for conscious thought. This aspect of the brain brainstorms in the literal sense of the word. It is responsible for identifying and thinking of possibilities surrounding tasks. However, the problem with the forebrain is its inability to do the work involved. So in our example above, the computer operator is symbolic of the forebrain and the software that powers the computer is the creative mechanism. Never underestimate this creative mechanism. It will make the difference between your ability to finish your task and not. For as long as the forebrain is busy and trying to get the work done, the creative mechanism within will remain inactive. This means that there is a need to understand how the forebrain works and when to instruct it to step aside for the creative mechanism to step in and get the work required done. It is time to cut down on the negative perspectives and pressure that the world today brings. Remember that your life task is time tagged and the things you have learned today might just be the hack that you need to get to the next phase of your life. Many people believe that life is short and should be enjoyed. We also believe that life should not be crowded with worries and anxieties and we just might have a thing or two to say about living worry-free in our next video.